Hello guys! Have a great day, students of Plumbing Grade 12 in the beautiful province of Lano del Norte. So, I am Jerick V. Chudusio, your teacher for today's lesson. So, welcome to Module 1. This module is about preparing for plumbing works, providing the steps and to be sure. It is also give the information on how to interpret manuals, interpret work plans, isometric drawings. So in accordance with the job specification and also how to prepare materials, tools and equipment. Also according to the job requirements. So guys, this module was designed and written for you as a learner. To have a comprehensive and interactive activities in lieu to actual classroom seating. So, this may help you to continue studying of plumbing at all costs that hinders your learning. So, in this way, it will be your convenience provided that you are entitled to fulfill or comply all the necessary activities in this module. So, guys, after going through this module, you are expected to First, you can demonstrate an understanding of the basic concepts and underlying theories in plumbing So, second one is you can also interpret isometric drawing And the third is you can identify the materials, materials tools and equipment Okay, so to achieve the objectives uh, cited above in your module, you are tasked to do the following. Okay, number one is take your time reading, listening, and watching the lesson carefully. Second one is follow the direction and instructions and the activities and exercises diligently so the third is answer all the giving tests and exercises okay okay before we will proceed to our lesson proper we will check first your prior knowledge in our lesson today so your previous knowledge from your previous grades so we will answer the pre-assessment activities so guys are you ready okay so uh, this is the directions or the instructions of your uh, pre-assessment so select the letter of the best answer from among the given choices and then write the letter on your answer in your activity notebook you must have an activity notebook okay guys you may start now okay number one it is a power tool that used to make straight cuts in pipes and wood so letter a electric grinder b chop saw or c trailer Okay, number two. These are designed to trade pipe or conjoin it using individual die heads for each size or pipe and manually operated ratchet. Okay, letter A, electric grinder. Letter B, chop saw. C, trader. Okay, so number three, it is an electric power tools with detachable grinding wheels that you can apply to have a variety of jobs around your home. Okay, letter E, electric grinder, B, chop saw, or C, trader. Okay, congratulations guys, you did well. So guys, what's in in this module? So, 
We know that all works of all trades has a standard manual. So, different types of equipment and some procedures in repairing the equipment. So, what's new? Plumbing works requires some tools and equipment to be able to work easily and efficient. Using manuals is very important to guide you in using repairs or do maintenance to your tools and equipment. So, most manuals are self-explanatory and easy to follow. Here are some tips in getting more out of yours. Okay, number one. Make sure you have the right manual in front of you. Okay, this may seem obvious and often it is. But since there are many similar pieces of equipment and information may vary from one piece to another. Check your manual to be sure that you are using the right one. Okay? Okay, number two. Look for specific sections detailing the type of service or repair you are going to perform. So, here are some you will find in common equipment. So, first is lubrication. This section will describe the lubricating location on the machine, the types of lubricants to use, and capacities if applicable for its lubricant okay so next is inspection here you will find instructions for in inspecting the equipment or machine this may include electrical wiring inspection for damage or broken parts corroded connectors or blown fuses you will find details regarding inspecting, bearing, belts, hoses, or other items depending on the equipment in question. Okay, the third one, scheduled maintenance. Here, you will find a calendar type schedule for regular maintenance. On heavy equipment, it may include changing the oil, oil filters, or air filters, and etc. So, on a smaller machine, guys, like a uh, shearing machine, there may be a periodic scheduled maintenance for lubricating, moving parts, other equipment like air conditioning systems have belts, bearing, filters, and coils which are required routine maintenance. Okay, the fourth troubleshooting tips. So most maintenance manuals have a section covering troubleshooting tips, which are helpful in diagnosing mechanical problems in almost any machine rather than randomly replacing parts to correct a problem you can scan the tips for a description of the problem you are experiencing so which will be accompanied by a list of possible causes so five Okay, the fifth specifications. This section, if your manuals includes it, will give you facts about the machine's capabilities, performance, and capacities, and may include description of its size, width, power, and fuel requirements. So. Here we go in the third, third tips. So read the table of contents to search for general topics. 
own an automobile or for instance the owner's manual which may contain a very basic maintenance manual okay so we'll have topics such as optional equipment and vehicle there so that's guys so we proceed to the the fourth look in the index for keywords or phrases related to the specific task you intend to perform if it is not covered in the table of content okay so the fifth the fifth tips read the sections which describes the task you are undertaking before you actually start so this will help you understand what is involved and what tools you need to have on hand okay number six look for specific warnings okay working on a machine with an internal combustion engine or equipment which uses compressed gases or other hazardous materials requires caution and awareness of dangers and risk involved number seven look for references to specific tools gauges or other specialized equipment required to perform your maintenance or repair so guys some of these are specific to only one type or occasionally model of machine if you use the machine regularly it may be worthwhile to invest in any tools or equipment used in servicing and repairing it okay okay number eight try using other outside the sources mentioned in the manual for repairs or problems that the maintenance manual does not thoroughly cover so many manuals include toll free phone numbers and weave addresses okay number nine follow instructions carefully when performing any maintenance until you are familiar with the procedure I check your work and test if it is possible hey guys what is it in your module so guys we have different types of equipment okay number one chop saw it is a powerful tool that used to make straight cuts and pipes and wood it may have features that allow you to cut angles or a pipe below are the parts of a chop saw okay number two traders are designed to treat pipe or conjoint using individual die heads for each size of the pipe and on manually operated ratchets okay okay number three okay so electric grinders the electric grinders or the electric power tools with uh, detachable grinding wheels that you can apply to a variety of jobs around your home or some shops including sanding grinding cleaning and cutting so when you're using grinder guys make sure you are picking the right attachment for the job and using the attachment correctly always practice safety procedures that's the important guys in working when you're working a grinder it can cause injury both from the blade 
itself and from the flying debris okay Okay, so what I can do in your module. Now guys, we will proceed with your performance task. This performance task is called Hashtag Change. Okay, so number one, change the desk of the electric render following the steps. Okay. You will be rated according to the shown rewards. The second task is answer the following questions letter a is what happened to the operator if he missed to read the manual or instructions okay so letter b why we need to use a manual okay, good. you made this part guys congratulations to and you did well. So guys, it has been a great day to all of us today. Okay? We have learned something new. Am I right? So, the only proof that even COVID-19 can stop us from learning. So guys, keep on learning. So again, I am teacher Jared V. Chudusio, your plumbing teacher. Guys, thank you and mabuhay. God bless us all. See you next week.